The Salaries and Remuneration Commission, SRC, wants members of parliament compelled to return Kenyans the weighty house allowances awarded to them by the Parliamentary Service Commission, terming it as greed and unlawful. Below 2% of, of the Kenya's population is taking up more than half of the revenue which Kenya is generating, more than 52%. SRC has in the recent past argued that in case of consolidated pay, basic pay constitutes 60% of the gross pay, while allowances take up the 40% of the gross pay. The commission is questioning the infamous housing allowances of 250000 to their gross pay of 710000 So the taxpayer must stand up. And I want to challenge everyone out there to join this fight. Because when you drive out there, whether in a matatu or in your car, and you see the portals, and you see the bad roads, you watch TV, you see accidents as, as, as a result of bad roads, you see children sitting on stones under water because there's no money, while we have a member of parliament who is allocated funds, whether it is National Constitutional Development Fund or whether it is what, but it is really hurting. Even our economy does not allow. That's why they are going for the Euro bond to bridge the gap in the budget deficit. So if they, they are going to increase the salary, then it means we'll be going out for more polling. According to SRC, in the 2017-2018 financial year, the country's public wage bill shot to about 733 billion shillings, around 50% of Kenya's total revenue during that time, exceeding the limit stipulated in the Public Finance Management Act of 35% of the total revenue. Majority of Kenyans are living under the dollars and uh, the country is uh, not going in the right direction and uh, they should at least consider what uh, Kenyans are going through. Kenyans took to major online platforms to not only express their disgust but ridicule those they elected in office. Through hashtag congratulations Muheshimiwa, Kenyans on Twitter poured out what they felt was dear to their hearts. Kama watu wana ano ready, alafu bado wana ongezewa allowance. Sini pesa tu mingi kupatia mtu mwenye tumeeka hapo juu. So sisi hapa chini bado tunaumia kama wa Kenya. Sisi kama sisi Kenya nsa tuwezi kubali vitu kama hizo. Na wakifanya wamejifanye wenyewe. Sisi ndio tuliwaweka kwa hizo viti. Lakini sisi ndio tunaumia uku chini. As the Finance Bill 2019 introduced new taxes and hiked the existing ones, including the 8% value-added tax on petroleum products, 1.5% housing levy fund, and 15% of coals and data, among others, the country continues to struggle with its feeble economy in providing even basic essentials for its citizens. Safi Godanamamo, Switch TV.